these are the, the, the key things to offer out there so that more people can embrace APIs by understanding what APIs can do for them, how to use them, and understanding the experience the developers have around APIs rather than just aiming to build a super cool technology, whatever. So I'm Kristina Voskoglu, I'm Senior Director of Research for Slash Data. So a bit of about what we do. So we research developers and their choices and tech choices, provide research as to where this ecosystem is going. As to who I am personally, I love building data cultures and data teams and setting a strategy around that, architecting research and innovation. Amazing boom in APIs. There, there's a, an abundance of APIs out there already. And we've seen that with, with several things, with the several ecosystems. Okay, technology comes first, but there it reaches a level of maturity that it's not the technology itself that makes the difference. It's not your competitive advantage does not stem from the technology itself. It's everything around it, the community that you build, the support that you that you provide. Therefore, the next big step is dealing with the frustration of developers that are trying to use APIs, right? And uh, the challenges that they're facing, which begins on training and support and communities and dealing with that. So what we're going to do and what we're going to see in the future is birth, let's say, the emergence of several communities and adequate resources around APIs. In my mind, this is the uh, we've seen again and again, this is a, uh, an evolutionary stage in every technology. It reaches a uh, technology maturity level and then it starts building everything around it uh, or all the soft, let's say, features uh, that in the end make um, for a competitive advantage. I started more than 20 years ago my career as one of the few women in a technical role. Although I worked with really cool male colleagues and they were very supportive, no complaints whatsoever. But it did strike me that there was a bit of imbalance there, a lack of diversity. When I moved into studying the developer ecosystem, then the data spoke. It was not a matter of opinion anymore. And we found that women represented at that time less than 10% of the developer ecosystem globally. I had a number to put to that imbalance I had observed already. That needs to change somehow. It cannot be good for anyone. So when presented with the opportunity to join Women in Nets, I just grabbed it. It was a great way to, to help in any way I can. And you know, very humbly, what I've learned in the past 20 years as a woman and woman in, in technology, and that can help anyone, I'll be happy to help. And it's been great so far. I guess my main advice would be to focus on what they're passionate about and just go for it. If you're working towards a goal and, and a vision that you're passionate about, far more likely to just stick with it and step up and talk about it. Just do what you like and, and follow your passion and stick by your values. Don't let anyone intimidate you. And by the way, that goes for young men too. It's not just for, for young women. Also, another thing to, to consider is to ask yourself what makes you unique. Join women in APIs if you haven't already. I really believe that, that it helps us as people to grow as people and who we are. If not women in APIs, go ahead and find a similar group, but uh, we'll be, we would love to see you join us. There's a lot of power in, in communities, developer communities, um, women in technology and APIs communities. So I really encourage people to, to join one and make the best out of it.